Hello and welcome to a Claes Hunter 1 tutorial. This is my website codefreaks.co.uk. On Codefreaks you can post questions or answers about any of your coding problems. That's web or desktop and includes Blender. If you have any hardware or software problems you can also post them too and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. That's codefreaks.co.uk. Let's open Blender. Start, all programs, Blender Foundation, Blender, Blender. Today we're going to talk about some basic animation with a default cube. If you have another, a, a different object you want to animate, you can use that as well. Let's start by going to the drop down menu at the top where it says model and we'll click animation instead. Now you can see it automatically puts us into top view. We want to be in the camera view so we can see what um, it will look like when it's rendered. So if we press the zero key, we go into camera view. Now you may have noticed the layout looks slightly different. This is the timeline along the bottom. The green line is your position in the current scene. So at the moment we're at zero, zero. This is the movements window. So you can see how the object has moved. This is our normal buttons window at the bottom here. And we've got our object window where you can see the objects we've got in this scene. Now. We're going to start off by doing a very simple animation of moving the cube from one side of the camera view to the other. So, firstly, let's grab the cube with the G key and move it into the top left hand corner of the camera. To set that location as our starting location, we must make sure we've got it at 0, 0 on the timeline and we'll press I to set the location, which is LOC, and I again to set the rotation, which is ROT. Now our starting position is set there. We'll click on 2 seconds. So at 2 seconds into our animation, we can do something different to the cube. So, for example, we'll move the cube to the bottom right-hand corner of the camera by using the G key. Now to set that as the location for 2 seconds in, we are going to press the I key and set the location and press it again and set the rotation. As you can see our movements window has changed here. Now we're going to click on our timeline and drag back to zero seconds and hover our mouse over the 3D workspace and press Alt A and we'll get a preview of our animation there. And we can press escape to stop the animation. Now, so that was moving the cube. We want to do something a little bit more interesting, perhaps like rotating it. So if we go to four seconds into the animation and grab the cube and we'll put it roughly in the middle, we can rotate it a bit with the R key. And now we can set the rotation. So I and click ROT for rotation and press I again and click LOC for location. And now you can see that's our cube has set, and it's also set in the movements window over here. So if we drag our slider back to frame 1, we can press Alt A and watch our animation go through. And you see the cube twist there. That's about it for this basic animation tutorial. I'll cover some more things in my next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.